Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Carlos Alcaraz have made his Lava Cup debut and he claimed a victory for the European team. Alcaraz and his teammates trail their global rivals by four points heading into the final day of the tournament. But the Spaniard defeated Taylor Fritz in the deciding match. This meant that John McEnroe was unable to achieve his goal of scoring a hat-trick at the World Team Championships in his last year as captain. Both McEnroe and Team Europe leader Bjorn Borg have resigned. Team World will now be led by Andre Agassi, with Yannick Noah replacing Borg. So it's no surprise that both would like to leave on a positive note. Before the tournament, the American showed how much he appreciated his last Lever Cup when he slammed his hand on the table and told his players that, if you lose don't lose for me on my last one, okay that's all I'm saying. But the trophy quickly slipped from Team World's hands on the third and final day of competition. Carlos Alcaraz and Casper Oud started things off with a win over Francis Tiafo and Ben Shelton in doubles. Ben Shelton didn't get a break, coming back immediately to beat Daniel Medvedev in singles. The world team looked set to win the Lever Cup for the third year in a row, as Tiafo beat Alexander Zverev by a set and a break. Things soon began to change, Zverev enjoying himself in front of his home crowd and coming back strong only to be defeated in the fourth and final game of the day. Alcaraz didn't laugh. The 21-year-old had some fun on the pitch, pretending to slice and smash the ball to surprise Fritz. He was leading 5-1 when the American struggled and had to take painkillers from the doctor during the change of head. Alcaraz looked comfortable and took the first set 6-2 after half an hour. Meanwhile, Frist told his teammates that he needed to put more pressure on the Spaniard if he wanted to see Alcaraz lacking concentration. In the end, his plan worked. After trailing 40-0 and losing his first three break points, Fritz looked set for a one-sided defeat. He then came back strong to win three straight games, taking a 5-4 lead. Thank you for watching till the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.